Welcome to the Tamanaka Collective. Let's see. So, it's a very nice sunny day. Everybody's out and playing. <laughs> yes, including the parrots and the chickens. And look at this. It's probably blinding. So here's the hydroponic system out here. I wanted to show you that I put a cover over the tomatoes. I uh, found some scrap pieces of clear roofing that I used and I went ahead and covered most of the tomatoes. Now I'm not expecting it to cover everything when the rains come but I think it'll give me a little more shelter from the rain from uh, you know when it just is raining every day. Uh, hopefully this will stave off any light issues or anything. Now I'm not using soil anyway but you know you never get you never know when you can get some kind of fungus or something going on wet tomato leaves because tomatoes hate wet leaves. So I also put some netting across and I hope the birds don't like you know get it caught in there but I did some netting so that the few uh, the few squash I did plant <laughs> even though I said I wasn't going to uh, can uh, crawl up the trellis crawl over here and the tomatoes can do a little bit of that too since there's room as you can see it's already starting to crawl up the trellis but there we are it's really sunny so I'm just staying on this side these things have grown so much this is some kind of hybrid Roma tomato and it's giving me a lot of flowers and leaves so hopefully and I do see some fruit on there that I, I really hope that these guys produce a lot of fruit for me so I can can. There you go, there's some fruit on the bottom. I've taken the liberty of uh, clearing out a lot of the uh, bottom, as you can see, you know, of leaves, so that it's not a big forest. But uh, yeah, these guys, I've never, they, these are a lot of flowers. More than the uh, black um, Japanese trifuels that I really love. And speaking of which, this guy right here, just to show you, this tomato with vigorous growth, look at all that, is from a branch. I cloned, uh, 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 pinched off a clone of this because it had a lot of flowers on it and it has proliferated very nicely. I believe this is a cross between a Japanese trifle and something else that crossbred and so we'll see what happens. I'm excited for it anyway. Uh, this is a stapler from this and I have beans growing up here as well here are potatoes so these potatoes are about to bloom and the last time I did this was on russet potatoes and these guys bulged the uh, containers out and I got a lot of neat big potatoes that still smell like earth so we'll see what happens in here nestled in are some oh look at this these guys eh, no assassin bugs they will suck the sap out of your stuff. Anyway, so we'll see. So we have a lot of cool things to look forward to in the fall from potatoes. We have cucumber, tomato, and we have a, a, a leftover, I don't know, I didn't fill this bucket for fun, uh, but this is a kohlrabi and it, I've already gotten some from the ground. This is a Trumblencinio from Territorial Seeds. It's gonna be a tube of, and they can get like, three feet long summer squash that but it grows on a vine so it's pretty interesting this is going to be my uh, winter squash so kombucha or something like that I'm not quite sure you can see one of the little things here they're supposed to like stay for a month after you pick them in a cold place so that they fruit better or, or the sugars do some things and it's gonna be interesting and then conventional zucchini so lots of flowers lots of growth uh, we'll see. I know it's probably going to take it over and stuff somewhat, but this is kind of the fun, you know. This is why I like gardening. So there we are. I'll take you to my mint water fountain. And then a quick snapshot of the doggies. And we'll be on our way from our update. Be sure to check out my video on the inside where I have my peppers and uh, cucumbers growing in here. And we'll see how much of this survives over the winter. This is a heated greenhouse. So 
we'll see what happens, you know, maybe we'll have aphids or some kind of big attack again. The aphid attack that killed off my, well, they didn't kill it off, look, my eggplant didn't do much damage. I just washed off the leaves with a big hose and uh, everything looked fine. So the aphids are gone. All right. Thanks for uh, watching. I will talk to you later. Be sure to like and subscribe.